Good morning. So we've got a lot of things planned for today. We've got um, Leon had a little slumber party with uh, one of my besties' sons last night, and he's going to come out to the farm and help us today. So something that's really exciting that's happening today is the um, Miss Cuckoo's chicks, our olive eggers, are moving out to pasture. Right. Okay, so we've moved the chickens into the entry room and they're plenty big enough now. It's time for them to move out. Hi, babies. Hi, honeys. Hey, boys, come on. Leon, come help, bud. All right, just start grabbing them. All right, Noah, you're gonna grab them and start putting them in one by one, okay? I'll keep them contained. Whoop. I won't keep them contained. There we go. Right. Gently. Good job. There you go. Alright, you just got two left? Uh-huh. Okay. I can get the last one. I think Noah's you got it, Noah? There you go, bud. Okay, so we got the chickens in the box. We got baskets, because we are also going blackberry picking today. Out at the pasture, the pad is all smoothed out. The pond is all smoothed out. It's looking awesome. We even got some grass growing in on the pad, which is exciting because if the grass grows in, that means we don't have to sod the pad after construction. So if we can just get this grass growing, it's gonna save us quite a bit of money. Started a halter training because he is going to be handled a lot more than Mr. Wellington, who is just pretty much not handled at all. So that was yesterday, and uh, unfortunately, my camera died. But I keep the baskets in the car, and I'm glad that I did because we got out here this evening to feed, and the blackberries that were red have ripened. So we're going to get our second batch of blackberries. And I was thinking it was gonna be like once a week harvest, but it's seeming like it could be like every day, if not every other day. Something also really exciting. We've got a strawberry. There we go. Look at that. Oh, actually, that might not be ready yet. It, eh, it's still got some pink, some white. That one's not quite ready yet. It's not quite ready yet, buddy. I know you saw it. Leon was excited because he had seen the red strawberry and was like, Mama, we got strawberries. So, but we do have asparagus. So let's go ahead and harvest some asparagus. Some of them, like that one right there, is super long, it's too long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at the base, but we've got others. So Leon was asking if the strawberry was ripe and I was explaining to him that it was kind of still pink, like whitish on the uh, tip of the strawberry. But he was like, that's okay, that's a smaller strawberry than I would like anyways. But those are not June bearing. Those are, what is the other one? There's two varieties of strawberries. There's June bearing, which bears for a certain period. And then there's a type that bears pretty much multiple times a year. And that is that variety. So the June bearing produces the big strawberries that you tend to see in the stores and the all season or whatever they're called, they produce little, little berries. So it kind of makes up for it. Come on, buddy, let's go get some blackberries. Here, come help me get these. Look at them all. These were all red. It's amazing how fast they ripen. And look, we even got more that are, that are ripening. These will be ready tomorrow. 
I'm excited for blackberry crisp. Blackberry crisp. Blackberry crisp. Blackberry cobbler. Blackberry jam. Blackberry jam. Ow! Whoops! Did it get you? Well, these are spicy blackberries. They're like feisty. <laughs> So what's particularly cool about these blackberries on our property is we didn't actually plant any of them. They are wild blackberries, which are very common in Florida. And unfortunately, quite often they are treated as uh, a nuisance, a weed. They're invasive, they do take over. But where they're at right now, they're not bothering anybody. They're not getting in our way and they're providing us with food. So we, we will mow and clear some of them, but we, for the most part, leave uh, a number of them where they are and let them continue to grow. I gotta be honest, I'm actually really happy with having these on our property because it's food that is extremely low maintenance. I don't gotta water it, I don't gotta prune it, I don't gotta treat it for pests. It exists naturally and wild. It's, it's honestly, it's one of the best low maintenance plant you could have on your property if you like blackberries. Oh, oh did you find one, bud? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, here's some more. See, we got another, this right here is one of the uh, big patches that we've got. There's like numerous patches that we got on the property. This is one of the big ones. Oh, there's one right there, buddy. See right there? Oh yeah. Bunch more red ones. Ooh, look at all these, look at all these new blackberries coming in. We're gonna have a lot of Look at of all them. these flowers. Definitely we'll have enough to freeze excess this year. Oh, here's another one. I had to show you guys right quick. Look at this. Look at all of these blackberries that are coming in. Every single one of those is gonna become a blackberry. Like that's crazy. We're gonna have so many blackberries, buddy. Yeah, you're cool. Thank Are you, you honey. Cool. Get a picture? Picture. Ooh! Oh, that's so cool, buddy. Well, let me see. Let me, let me see if you can see it on the camera. Look, he he got a picture of the bunny. Let me see if I can look at that. You got a picture of the rabbit, Leon. That's cool. Are you a photographer in training? Uh-huh. Yeah. On another cool note, it's magnolia season. Look at that. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, doesn't it smell good, buddy? I'm gonna pick it. Are you gonna pick it? Uh huh. Oh, look. Oh, oh no. thank put, you. Put it on your ear. Here, actually, I can put it on my hat. Good idea. There we go. I've got a magnolia on my hat. Yeah. Maybe I can find another one. Now let's leave them on leave them on the trees so we can enjoy them. That's so pretty. There's plenty of magnolias. Actually, it's almost elderberry season too. This is this is elderberry. All those little green berries. They're coming in. Whoops. Here, can you grab my magnolia, buddy? It's not sticking on my hat properly. I gotta really stick it in. Hold on. Here, let me see. Let me see. Oh, can you stick it in? Uh-huh. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Am I good? Oh, I love it. Thank you. You're so sweet. Mwah. You guys saw recently we transplanted 
our banana trees and they obviously are enjoying it because one's blooming. Yeah, that's our storm drain, buddy. How did that happen? Uh, something just grew in it. Yeah, we've got a storm drain on our property it's meant to drain the uh, wetlands into the, I'm, I'm lovingly calling it our creek because I hate to call it a ditch, but it's a ditch. It's very overgrown right now, but it's a ditch. So that drains into there and continues on. Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. So we transplanted the banana trees and they seem to be loving it. Every single one of them put out a new leaf and one of the dwarf Cavendish that we have actually put out a flower, which is really exciting because we've had these for years and we've never gotten one to flower. So here it is. Look at that. Look, Leon. We're gonna have bananas soon. Look, there's little baby bananas right there. Don't touch it, but see them? Each one of those is, is gonna be a banana. Isn't that cool? Mama. What? You know what I think of you? What? A blessing from God. Oh, you're so sweet. And I'm blessed by God to have you. Oh, that's my baby. He does that. And he doesn't do it to ask me for something. He's never complimented me and asked me for something subsequently. So whenever he gives me compliments, it's extra special because I know he's not just giving me them to butter me up. He's actually giving them to me genuinely because he loves me. I want from you is a kiss. Oh, you want a kiss? Um, Mwah. We are down to technically four, but I'm gonna say three because the peach tree's dead, grass. but we're down to three trees to transfer. Let me see, are you gonna catch some grass? <laughs> so we're down to three trees to transfer. We got one more, one more fig tree. Oh, actually this one's got a fig coming in on it. Oh shoot, we gotta get that transferred quickly. So we've got one more fig tree. Peach tree's dead, we're giving up on the peach tree. So that's gone, but we've got our kumquat tree and then the last apple, which we gotta figure out how we're gonna transplant that because we've gotta dig it up entirely and far out enough that it's not going to uh, break any of the tap roots. Mama? Yes, baby. Over there. Yeah, Lexi's mango tree is doing amazing too. Lots of new growth. And actually, look at look, Leanne, did you see all the kumquats coming in? Ooh, I can't wait to try a kumquat. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. This, Looks this like is, this is a summer um thing. This is a centennial variegated kumquat. I don't know how they what they taste like, but they're beautiful and it was free, so yeah. Uh, I hear that they're tart. We'll see. I mean Maybe we can make some lemonade type drink from them. Ooh, and actually, buddy. So under the trellis, we had some volunteer tomatoes. They're starting to ripen. Look, bud. Look at those. So they are, they're yellow pear tomatoes. Look at those. So we got some yellow pear tomatoes. These are still ripening. This one's starting to ripen, but look at them all. So I'm gonna stand this up so you can see. We got all those coming in. And then we've also got this one. Oh, I see some yellow peeking out. Let's get these. Oh, I see some down here. There's another one hidden under here. It's got a bit of a split. There we go, there's some more. There's some more tomatoes. So, I'm probably going to just harvest some just to enjoy them and then they're gonna get yanked out of the ground right before he gets ready. All right, bounce, bounce on your head. Oh, close, more try. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna enjoy these tomatoes and let them grow and fruit until he, until we bring our guy in to level and fill in the garden area and raise it up. So we'll get some tomatoes out of this. I'll accept, I can take that. Leon's daily jokes. What joke you got for us? Why don't you tell one of those jokes you told me earlier? Uh, oh yeah, what do you call a dead bee? A dead bee? Yes. What? Buzzkill. Buzzkill. <laughs>